So to go ahead and get this in there, what we're going to have to do is go ahead and set up a graph. So to go ahead and set this up, I'm going to have 1, 1, 2, 3. Uh, B, which is be at negative 1, 2. So I'm going to label this A, which is 1, 3. B, which is negative 1, 2. C, which is 1, 1. D, which is negative 7, 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 1. And then I have E, which is 1, negative 5. 1, negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So ladies and gentlemen, what we can see is we have a side length. Oh, I'm sorry, we have a triangle, ABC. That is our original. And then what we're trying to see, all right, did I enlarge that to get to my other triangle, or did I shrink it? To go from ABC to ADE, is that enlarged? Yeah. yeah, right? Now we need to be able to determine, though, is that proportional, though? Right? So to do that, I need to set a ratio of the sides. Now, I am a thinking man. I want to make this as easy as possible, right? When you have straight lines, you can easily count the lengths, correct? So I can say AC is 2. So AC is 2, AE. Right, which is the same thing as 2 is to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 2 is to 8. But now I need to find one other ratio, though, that I can compare that to. And if the ratios are equal, then I know, it's pro then I know those two triangles are proportional. So I asked Dominic, Dominic, what two other sides would you like to be able to determine are going to be proportional, DE and BC or AB and AD? OK, so Dominic wants to be able to determine that A, B, and A, D. Now, one of the big mistakes I see students do is they want to try to count that. You can count vertically and horizontally, but we cannot count the diagonal. So there's only one way we can go ahead and, and do it um, when we want to find the length of a diagonal. And Robert, do you remember the name of the formula to find the distance of a line? Do you remember the name of the formula? The distance formula. And hopefully at this point in the class, you guys have done the distance formula enough that you're sick of it, but you at least know the distance formula. So we're going to find the distance formula of AB. And we're going to find the distance formula of uh, AD. So if you do not remember the distance formula, remember the distance formula equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it does not matter which, what I label as x1 and x2. All right? All I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract the x-coordinates, and I'm going to subtract everything from the, I'm going to start with the a first. Okay. So here we have 1 minus negative 1 squared plus 3 minus 2 squared. 1 minus 1 squared is going to be 2. 2 squared is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So therefore, that equals the square root of 5. Now let's go and do AD. AD is going to be, I'll just distract this so from 1 minus negative 7. So 1 minus a negative 7 squared and over 3 plus 3 minus a negative 1 squared. 1 minus negative 7 is 8. 8 squared is 64. And 3 minus negative 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 16, 70, that's going to be 80. So if we follow our same logic here, AC is the AE, which we know that was 2, 4, right? AC is the AE as what we want to show is AB is to AD. If we can show that those two triangles are proportional, right? then we have a proportion. If we can show that they're equal to each other. So let's go back into our lengths that we had. 
we knew that AC over AE was 2 over 4, correct? Everybody agrees with me on that? That was 2 over 4. And now AB is square root of 5 over the square root of 80. OK? So now, how do we show that they're proportional to each other? Cross multiply. So I have 4 times the square root of 5 equals 2 times the square root of 80. So now, what I can simply do is just use my calculator, estimate them, or calculate. Oh, and Jake stole my calculator. Where's my calculator? Oh, that would be a good one. Thank you. So to estimate this, I'll just do 4 times the square root of 5. That gives me 8.94 equals 2 times the square root of 80. And that's 17.88. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, are these proportional? No, they're not. Okay. And therefore, since they're not proportional, they do not have a scale factor.